Hey guys, it's Toby and we are back on the dyno. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we last posted a video. As some of you know, I've been out for a couple weeks, kind of been in and out of the shop, so we really appreciate your patience. That's all of our customers that have been waiting. And of course Stein, I know Stein's been waiting on his 438. So this is what we have today. We've got an all aluminum 438 Windsor. It is low compression engine, it's set up for boost. So it's got about nine and a half to one. Uh, this is our Dominator kit. It's obviously got the AFR heads, titanium retainers. It's got Jessel shaft rockers. It's set up for about 17 to 20 pounds of boost. And as you can see, it's got our Dominator EFI setup with our AEM Infinity computer, the crank trigger for better uh, timing accuracy, and individual coils. So obviously, we're not testing this with Stein Supercharger. We're going to test it naturally aspirate it, and then we're going to see what the single big throttle body, which is a 102, does compared to the four barrel throttle bodies, which as we've seen in the past, do lose horsepower. So we'll see how much it does compared to AccuFab's four barrel throttle body. Thanks guys. Hey guys, Martin here. So we're on the dyno with Stein's 438 Windsor, and uh, we're about to see what it does on the motor with the 102 millimeter throttle body. So we're going from 3,500 to 6,300 RPM. Sixty-six horsepower at 6100 rpm now keep in mind uh, still no boost on this engine so uh, we've got uh, 9 to 1 compression pump gas Windsor making this kind of power uh, before the blower so we expect that the customer is going to be really happy with this combination once he gets it dialed in with the supercharger I think he's planning on running somewhere around 20 pounds of boost so this is easily a thousand horsepower combination and along with the aluminum block and a light vehicle, should be a fun ride. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this time we've got the AccuFab 4150 throttle body installed. Uh, these are supposed to flow 1215 CFM, but as we've already seen on the 408 that we've done before, we should be losing some horsepower. Now, personally, I prefer the big single blade throttle body. The one we had before was the 102 millimeter throttle body. I mean, look at that. You've got plenty of airflow, especially if the engine's going to be supercharged. You can check out that throttle body. I mean, I love them. Actually, I prefer the four barrel throttle bodies on the early cars, but it's not going to flow the same amount of air. It's just not going to happen. So I guess the question is, how much horsepower are we going to lose? Let's find out. Hey guys, all right, so we've got the AccuFab 4150 throttle body on there. Uh, same exact combination. We're not doing anything other than just bolt the throttle body on and letting it rip. So uh, we'll let it warm up for a minute here and uh, see what she does. All right, so AccuFab, perfect. see uh, this is the run with the 102 millimeter and then the AccuFab our lambda or air fuel ratio overlays itself there perfectly and here's our numbers here 522 foot-pounds of torque at 5200 rpm 555 550 horsepower so that compares to where we were before here uh, all right there we go 527 and 566 so not too bad that's what we're looking at guys so here we go 
there you go right there real world results we got a, a difference there of roughly about 16 horsepower yeah think. about uh, <clears throat> seven foot pounds and yeah 16 horsepower also another thing to look at too is, uh, is the vacuum so as you can see it's it's starting to pull a little bit of vacuum versus uh, yeah about half as much so uh, you can see that the restriction is in the throttle body itself uh, just doesn't flow enough air and you can't have such a thing as too much air so take care guys